Hey there, great to see you. My name is Ben Brill, and in this video I'm going to teach you a very simple version of the song You Need to Calm Down by Taylor Swift, and we're going to play it today on the Lug guitar. It's a three-stringed guitar, great for beginners. You can also play uh, something very similar to this on a six-string guitar. So here's what we're going to work on. I'll show you first the intro of the song, then the next part that we're going to learn. a few times that's actually how the song starts out then we'll give a try at playing the song with chords which is a lot of fun and that would sound sort of like this oh, 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 oh. you need to calm down you're being too loud and there's a lot of other ways we can make that fancier to strum so let's start with that intro the first thing we need to do is find our notes so let's begin by taking our left hand the pressing hand finger number one that's going to go to the G string, second fret. So see if you can find that. G, B, E. It's right there, G string, second fret. That's the first note in the song. Next, we're going to use our third finger. One, two, three. This is going to go to the B string, third fret. And make sure we're using our very fingertips instead of the flat parts there. And once we got that, and we can play those two notes, you've got all the notes you need to get started. So the rhythm, now I'm going to play up here so that you can see what my pick is doing, but you'll probably want to be playing down there. So the rhythm goes like this. I play my G string first, playing from the G to the B string. G, B, 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 dun, dun, dun. And the next thing that I have to do is actually very easy. I'm just going to lift my first finger and play these strings backwards. I'm going to go B, G, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. So the whole intro, if you want to see all of it start to finish, goes like this. And that repeats again. Nice job if you got that. If it takes a little bit of practice, that's okay. You know, we're jumping between the strings, and we've got to make sure we're using our fingertips and we're squeezing back here so we can press hard enough so it doesn't sound like this. All right? We don't want that. Uh, so if you practice enough, I'm sure you'll get it. Next, let's learn our D chord. This is going to help us learn the rest of the song. It's going to sound really good. We can even play along with the song, and it's going to fit really well. So here's how we do the D chord. Now a trick, if this chord gives you some trouble, which it might if you're new to guitar, we're going to play a simpler chord called D2, first of all. Here's how that goes. And guess what? First finger goes to the G string, second fret. Third finger goes to B string, third fret. And that's actually all we have to do. That's called a D2 if we strum all the strings together. Yeah, I'm not pressing anything on my E string. I'm just letting that ring out. I'm not touching it at all. I'm just making sure I get a nice sound from that string. So uh, practice a couple times taking your hand off and see if you can find those notes again and play it. And even if that's all you get this week, you know, that's going to be a really good start for you. Like if you're, if you're young or you're a beginner, if you get the D2, you're going to be in good shape. Now, once you get the hang of that, if you want the next step, here's what it is. We're going to take our D2 shape and we're going to try to add finger number two. One, two. It's the one in the middle there. The middle is going to go to the high E string, G, B, E, second fret. Now I know it's got it's sort of zigzag in there and squeeze in there. You might find that uh, it's important to angle your hand a little bit this way so that it will fit. You know, that helps me a lot. And you also want to make sure that your hand isn't all squished up against the guitar. You want to keep that sort of open there so that you can get that. Now this is a beautiful chord if you can get it. It sounds like this. You are somebody that I don't know is the first chord in the song. 
So once you get um, some practice at the D chord, you're ready to put all of the chords together. There's only two of them. So uh, let's practice, take your hand off of that and see if you can go back and find your D chord a couple of times. And the last thing that we'll do in this video is show you how to put both of the chords together into the actual song and you can play along with the real song. So we need a D, which you just learned, or maybe you knew before, and we also need a G. Here's how we do our G, a lot simpler than the D chord. We just take our third finger, left hand, it goes to the E string, third fret. That's called a G chord. So what we're gonna do is play four Ds, four more Ds, four Gs, and four more. Now let's uh, write that down in just a second here, but I want you to see what that looks and sounds like first. And if you can do this, you can literally play the whole song. It just repeats for the whole time. Um, I'll show you in a second if you don't believe me. So we've got four of these. We're just gonna strum, counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we switch to the G just by lifting and going like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we did it, and then we just go back to the beginning. Now here's how that looks if I write it all out for you. All right, there we go. So these numbers tell us how many times we strum in each section. So we start with our D and go one, two, three, four. Another D, one, two, three, four. Then just like reading a book, we go to the next line, G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what do we do when we get at the end? Oh, well, I'll put a repeat sign here. This is called a repeat sign. And that just means we bounce all the way back to the beginning. And we just play the same thing again and again. And that will literally fit really well along with the song. So I suggest pausing here and give this a try. See if you can play through this once you get a hang of the chord. And if you're still having a hard time with that D chord and you feel like you just can't make that work yet, play your D too, which we talked about a couple minutes ago. Now this is a very simple version of the song. There's many ways you can make it fancier with strumming, but for our last thing in this video, since this is just for real beginners to guitar, we're going to try to play it together. We'll be in a band here. I'll sing and I'll play guitar, and your job is just to try to strum the chords as we go along. So I'll say one, two, here we go, and we'll start playing right here, and you'll hear me strumming along. So you want to just try to match the rhythm that you hear me doing here. And let's get our D chord ready. We'll see what happens here. A one, two, here we go. A one, two, three, four, another D. One, two, three, and we change. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, keep going. job now you can try to sing that on your own that would probably sound really good uh, it's a little tough for me to hit those notes I haven't really heard the song a whole lot so that's somewhere to start plenty more you can do with it but nice job I've got plenty more videos about guitar Lug guitar and lessons to help you learn your first couple songs so consider subscribing so that you can keep track of those kinds of things I'll see you next time